everyone, welcome to my channel. This is Makeup by Mackenzie, and I am Mackenzie, obviously. You might have noticed something different about today, and it's not just the background, it is the lighting. Yes, thanks to your generous donations, I went ahead and purchased some new lights for my channel. You can see me so much better. Here's a before. Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. This is Makeup by Mackenzie, and I am Mackenzie. And here's after. It's so much better. Lighting makes such a big difference in both the image quality and in the color quality. I mean, look at these colors. Speaking of color, today on War Paint, we are celebrating two transgender women of color, Marsha P. Johnson and Sylvia Rivera. These two women were pioneers of the Pride movement. They're both equally credited with starting the Stonewall in riots. Whether or not that's true, these two women are still very significant in the Pride movement and fighting for LGBTQ equality. Marsha P. Johnson was a founding member of the Gay Liberation Front, and she was also an AIDS advocate with ACT UP. Sylvia Rivera was one of the founding members of both the Gay Liberation Front and the Gay Activist Alliance. And then the two of them, who were friends at the time, co-founded the Street Transvestite Action Revolutionaries. Also known as STAR, this group was dedicated to helping young homeless drag queens and transgender women of color. So clearly these two women were very important to LGBTQ and transgender activism and really helping get the pride movement going. So I think it's very appropriate, even though I'm kind of late to the uh, pride uh, celebration here, um, to celebrate these two women for Pride Month. So without any further ado, let's play with some makeup, shall we? So for this look inspired by Marsha P. Johnson and Sylvia Rivera, I want it to be kind of vulnerable and raw, but in a glam sort of way, if that makes sense. Um, so it's going to end up being very glowy, very natural, but with elements of glam to it. I went ahead and primed my face. I'm using the NYX Proof It uh, Waterproof Eyeshadow Primer, and I'm using the First Aid Beauty Coconut Skin Smoothie Priming moisturizer. So for my foundation, I'm going to be using the infallible, the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Glow. Okay, so we've got our foundation on and now we're going to move to our concealer. I'm just using my normal Maybelline Fit Me concealer. To me, these two women are, are very, very inspiring because being transgender back then must have been exceedingly hard. And these two women had the bravery, along with the other trans women in their community, and trans men as well, had this incredible bravery to be themselves despite all of the things that they faced. To be truly yourself is a very brave thing to do. We are very conscious of what other people think. We constantly think about what other people think. We want to be accepted, we want to be loved, we want to be acknowledged. To have your true self not be someone who is accepted must be extremely hard. And, and it takes an incredible amount of bravery to be yourself. And I truly admire that about transgender people, about gay people. So I just went ahead and set my face and I used the CoverGirl Advanced Radiance Powder. So now I'm going to go ahead and focus on the eyes. Since I'm doing something very natural, I'm going to start off by going over my entire lid and eye area in a eyeshadow that matches my skin tone. So this is the Wet n Wild Creme Brulee. I'm just doing a wash of that all over my eye area. Now, before I do anything else, I'm gonna go ahead and fill in my brows using the Essence Make Me Brow Eyebrow Gel Mascara. So 
so now we're going to kind of start adding the glam factor here. So the colors of the transgender flag are blue, pink, and white. Light blue and light pink are the colors that are typically associated with boys and girls. The white is representative of those who are intersex, transitioning, or transgender people who identify as more gender fluid. So we're going to be using those colors in today's look. Basically, I'm going to be using pink and blue kind of like blush and bronzer. The first color I'm going to be using is the L'Oreal Infallible Eyeshadow in the shade Infinite Sky, and it's a light blue color. You would be surprised at how hard it is to find light blue eyeshadow in the drugstore. You know? So I'm going to take my Farrah large angled contour brush and I'm just gonna dip it right in there. So I've got some on there and I'm just gonna start kind of from the outside of my eye here. I'm gonna go in kind of circular motions and start to to bring it up like that. I'm gonna start blending it up into my hairline so I don't have this line like on the outside of my face. And then I'm going to start kind of putting it on my cheeks like a blush. And I've I kind of connected it to the corner of my eye there so it's like it's coming, it's kind of encompassing my face a little bit more. All right, so I've got a little bit of a of a base down there, and I'm going to take my finger and I'm gonna kind of try and use that to concentrate it a little more. Cause you see how true that color is there. So I'm just going to kind of fluff it out with my finger. So you see how that gives it a little bit more color, and then you can kind of take the brush and just blend out the edges a little bit. So then I'm just taking the brush and fluffing out the edges to make sure it's all kind of blended in. All right, so now we're going to try the other side. And for this color, I'm dipping into the Morphe 35B palette. I'm going to be using this shade right here. It's a shimmery pink shade. And I'm going to be using the e.l.f. angled blush brush for this one. And we're gonna do the same thing. So kind of putting it up here. And down here, kind of making it like blush a little bit. And then again, I'm going to take my finger and I'm going to use that to kind of help to concentrate it a little bit so that you get more of an impact with the color. So you definitely get a very different vibe from the blue to the pink. So if you want to, you can make it a little bit darker. I'm taking a, a fluffy highlighting brush and I'm taking this matte shade that's right, uh, matte, and I'm taking this matte shade that's right above the shade that we've, we've been using. I'm just gonna use that to kind of darken it up just a little bit in some key places. So I went right under my cheekbone I'm using a very, very light hand with this because I'm just using it to kind of darken it up a little bit so that the pink shows up a little bit more together. So you see there, now we've got a little bit more pink. So it really shows up and kind of stands up to the blue a little bit better. All right, so now it's time for the white. So the white is going in the center. First thing I'm going to do is I'm taking a small pointed fluffy brush and I'm taking this matte white shade from the Morphe 35B palette. And I'm just taking that in the inner corner so that when we put the shimmery white that I'm about to use over the top, it's the most vibrant right on the inner corner here. The next thing I'm doing is I'm going into the BH Cosmetics Carly Bible Deluxe Palette. So I'm taking a flat packing brush and I'm taking the white highlighter from the Carly Bible Palette and I'm going to start packing it into that inner corner. And then I'm going to start 
bringing it up into the inner third of my eye. I'm not going to bring it too far down on the bottom lash line, but it's okay if you get it down there. What's really important is that it's on the inner third of the lid and in the inner corner. And if you find that it's not quite vibrant enough, you can also take your finger and help to use that to help pack it on there as well. That's looking pretty good so far. The white really helps to give it that kind of very glowy, very ethereal look that I'm going for. Alright, I went ahead and put on some mascara. So now I'm going to go in with the Essence Pure Nude highlighter and a fluffy brush. And I'm just gonna go down the center of my nose just to kind of help to even it out so it's not so matte against the rest of my face. And then right on the cupid's bow. All right, and now the finishing touch is some lip gloss. I'm going to go in with the Wet n Wild Color Icon Lip Gloss in the shade Fly Gal. This is a nice, cool toned pink. So I thought it would go really nicely with both the pink and the blue sides of my face. All right, so this is the finished look. I thought this was a very good look, very representative of the transgender community. I think it, it gives off kind of a very vulnerable, natural sort of look with also a, an element of glam and fun and some, some glowy pizzazz, I think, to it. These two women are pioneers in the transgender community and honestly, they're pioneers in the LGBTQ community as well. Every time you celebrate Pride, you should think of these two women who kind of got it all in motion a little bit. So I really wanted to celebrate these two women in my celebration of Pride Month. And I wanted to say to all of the transgender people out there, I see you, I acknowledge you, and I commend your bravery for being who you are and being true to yourself. You are truly an inspiration, no matter who you are and where you are in your transition, you are brave and you are loved. As always, I will link all of the products that I used in my video down below. I will also have the link to the Amazon page for my lights in case you are interested in seeing which lights I am using currently. Speaking of my lights, my GoFundMe campaign will also be linked down below. So if you want this channel to be the best it can possibly be, so if you want to help me improve my channel, please consider donating to my GoFundMe campaign. Any amount is greatly appreciated. If you have any other ideas of women in history that you you would like me to do looks inspired by, please sound off in the comments below. Feel free to share all of your pride looks with me. I'd love to see what you guys did for pride, whether it was for transgender pride, for gay pride, for lesbian pride, whatever your identity is, I would love to see the, the creative looks that you guys came up with. You can share those with me on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook at M-U-B-Y Mackenzie. I'd love to see what you guys come up with and interact with you on social media. That's all I have for today. Remember, makeup has no rules. They're more like guidelines. So, you do you, boo-boo. All right, see you next time, everyone. The first color I'm going to be using is the L'Oreal Lash Paradise, not Lash Paradise. I'm taking a flat, fluffy brush. Mm, not flat, fluffy brush. What am I talking about? That's kind of an oxymoron. Flat, fluffy brush. That's, yeah. Okay, so now I'm just... So I...